Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Audio. There it is. It is the raw wrap up. Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Mayhem Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. I'm sorry, the Sorgatron Media Studios, the Mayhem Studios, is now where I exclusively keep my laundry. Now, uh, with me, uh, it is a Monday <laughs> night. The cats have been the cats have been rallied. Oh, there they are. There they there are. Because are. that oh, is the calling card of Dave Potter and his and his wonderful <laughs> crew. Oh, look, everybody's out tonight. All all, oh, all yeah. hanging out there. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. they're they're, they're like we're on work. tv we're on the but internet yeah, yeah, yeah they're 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 going after it like uh sasha and bailey were oh tonight. man <laughs> so here's so this is gonna be an interesting one so i gotta say i very passively watched the first two hours of raw because we had a pittsburgh podcasters meet up here um okay. and 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 then we had another visitor uh so it was, we were a lot, of, a lot of chatting so i passively watched a lot of raw and raw looked like a lot of fun and then i watched the last hour and it was absolutely a blast that is oh, my yeah. first initial review of raw uh dave did you did you go through are you paying attention what is your level tonight of raw review uh my level if i ignored the first half hour mm -hmm. is excellent okay the first half hour where you had a talking segment involving Lashley and Roman Reigns was forgettable. Sorry about that. What was that That's again? Okay. No, I would say the first half hour where you had Lashley and Roman trying to memorize the line, trying to remember the lines they memorized behind, oh, uh, no. backstage. <laughs> uh, and then had a tag team match Playa. as partners against the Revival again. Oh. Yeah. So, and that was the first half hour. <laughs> so you're saying I didn't miss much? Not for the first and half visually hour. Visually, no. it didn't look like it, uh, at least. So I'm like, oh, I'm good. I'm just going to continue this conversation with this person who's visiting. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah, you definitely got the better end of the deal there. So, so, um, we had, we had somebody in the studio that, that wasn't, um, uh, that, what, that, that doesn't normally watch wrestling. Um, okay. a, a young, a young girl here, uh, that, that just completely not even had no idea. She was getting involved though, paying attention when Alexa and Mickey and Naya and everything happened. And it was fun because okay. she was watching it. I'm talking with, um, you know, I'm talking with somebody else, and she's like, she just recites everything that was happening about Rhonda uh, attacking uh, 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 Alexa and, and everything. Okay. And she's like, recited the entire thing that happened in the, like the last two segments. And then she's like, how did you, how do you know all this? She's like, I've been watching the last 10 minutes. <laughs> so it was fantastic to watch that kind of happen. Uh, right. And, and, and it was somebody who was a complete newbie to this uh, and maybe, maybe make a new wrestling fan. I don't know. So, well, I mean that's that, that's why they got Ronda right to get the non-traditional wrestling fans in. I don't even think it was. I don't think Ronda was recognizable to her. No, oh, okay. like I think it was just the action that was happening. Mm, okay. Um, that, okay. that, that that I didn't get the impression that she was like, oh, that's Ronda Rousey and da 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 da. It was more like, oh, what okay. are these women doing on TV? And why oh, does God. she have okay. leather pants? That's that leather pants. Who who's gonna <laughs> fight in the, in leather pants? Was the was the fun <laughs> question I got on this. So I, I again, I always love watching. Um, I always love watching like the uninitiated interpret professional wrestling, right? Yeah. You know, and, yeah. and then also getting the, this is all fake, right? Or is it partially fake or how much of this is fake? And it's <laughs> yeah. like, actually, uh, <laughs> yeah. so, yeah. and of course the, the immediate uh, answer I give is, um, it's like physical theater, uh, <laughs> seems to be a, a good, like, I usually a get a head nod like, oh, okay. Yeah, there, so. yeah. I, I like to stay away from the F word. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. For, for any for any like indie wrestlers or anyone else who I have you know glancing contact with, I, just out of respect for what they do. Yes. And also the fact that they can beat me to a pulp pretty easily. Usually, so I'll, yes. I'll, I'll always be nice. Always be nice. Yeah. I mean, if you've been <laughs> through that process, you're automatically tougher than me. 
right? Oh yeah. No matter what you yeah. what physically you look like, you you like I yeah. wouldn't even mess with any of the smallest of women uh, nope. in wrestling because I know what they I have an idea of what they've been through to get even as far as they have in their first couple of matches and yeah. So what's that? Jinx, Jinx, I, Jinx is a <laughs> tiny lady. She is <laughs> tiny, and she will murder you in your sleep. Uh, <laughs> and probably enjoy it. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes. Uh, but anyways, back to Raw. But, no, I, but I say about, uh, Raw tonight, I would say, is the uh, – when we did a quick chat, uh, a quick text before, and I would say it was a mixed-up match tonight. <laughs> because not only did you have that, you had the six-woman match mm-hmm. where Bailey and Sasha really didn't want to wrestle with each other. Mm-hmm. And you had Ember Moon being the peacekeeper mm-hmm. between the two. Literally, I, the, I don't know if you saw the first tag in where Bailey tagged Ember, who immediately tagged Sasha. So it was like Bailey didn't even want to touch Sasha, so she had to tag Ember and immediately tag over. It's 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 the old sitcom. Tell your sister to <laughs> to pass me the potatoes back and forth. And then you wow. had the yeah, then you had the Braun and uh, Kevin Owens te- teaming against Co- Constable Corbin, which turns into which turns into a Bugs Bunny cartoon. I oh, lo- I yes. love when anything with Braun Strowman and especially Kevin Owens just turns into a Bugs Bunny cartoon. And well, they apparently, also do it so well. Oh yes. <laughs> Also, like the idea that the valet stand is right at the top of the ramp, and <laughs> yes. also the idea that Kevin Owens, in his panic, has absolutely no peripheral vision <laughs> to notice the man with the briefcase on this side and his and his, and your smoking flipped car on this <laughs> yes. side. You're just, I mean, you just see that, and it's like somebody's car. Oh, probably not mine. Mine is completely parked with this responsible <laughs> fellow that has my keys. <laughs> or the guy who's behind the scenes, and the, he's like. Have you seen Kevin Owens? Who? I don't know anyone. I just work in sessions. I don't know who these people are. He looks like he has a bowling ball underneath his underneath his shirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. You know, whoever uh, whoever they have producing that segment that you know, like the 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 glance over, see the car, and then the guys with the fire extinguisher. <laughs> <laughs> as if like oh we just noticed too it's like the world noticed it, it's it's yeah. it's it's a visual version of not falling until no- you notice that you're supposed to be falling like mm-hmm. it, it is a wily e. coyote cartoon and and yeah. man i love cartoon wrestling <laughs> the thing is braun can pull it off mm-hmm. because braun is a little cartoonish with like you know with the big beard and mm-hmm. the oversize and everything else he can pull it off he is visually impossible yeah that has always been my thing because i'm like who's this guy in the ys that has the weird shirts and what's wrong with his chest uh and <laughs> so like you like he's scary but there's a certain part of him you can't take seriously right but and not in a bad way right i like in a you're not like a real human, are you? Like, what is this that's happening over here? But I mean, I, I, like I said, the first half hour, literally, I was watching the first half hour thinking it's going to be a long show. <laughs> just, just just because of the back and forth talk. It, yeah. That's the last yeah. you saw of Lashley after that match. Yeah. However, we did get Roman part two. We did. We did. At the very, very end, we got the we got the Roman save with a great murder spear on uh, Zolf Ziggler. By the way, yes, <laughs> that seemed the, that seemed pretty great. And, and there's even comments happening in the chat room around that last match. Uh, Brandon saying out there in KC uh, that last match was pretty amazing. Them fighting off the top rope reminded me of uh, Lucha Underground. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then Alex is saying, I'm kind of the guy that gets mad that the camera gets dropped, but laugh when a guy's car gets flipped over. <laughs> yeah, I can relate to that too. Um, at the le- hold on. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, oh, oh, Alex is actually, cause they were in San Diego tonight. Uh, yeah. uh and I didn't know that cause I was like, why is it so light out? Uh, yeah, but that Ruth, makes sense. Ruth said the same thing. Ruth said the same thing. Like, Wait a minute. Kevin's is outside. It's supposed to be a live show, but it's light out. I said, Oh, remember, it's West Coast. Yeah, yeah. I remember Wrestle- Coast. WrestleMania a few years ago, right? Um, oh, Alex yeah. is saying, no, at the arena, that at that arena, that is where they val- uh, val- validate cars. Uh, val- valet. 
I think we're trying to say valet. Sorry, no. uh, valet stands uh, uh, to park the hockey player cars, so he he's aware of that. So that yeah. that is actually they did not set that up. That is actually That's legitimately normal. apparently where they put wow. that. So if you're questioning that, yeah. uh, Alex Miller out there on the West Coast is uh, is uh, uh, lining us up for it. Um, Bron- yeah. Tina says that Braun is just like a big kid while doing segments like that. He's having yeah. fun, and you can tell. No, yeah, absolutely. I mean that versus like the lines and everything like that. You know, uh, you know, even I was watching, I was catching up on SmackDown today and I'm watching the Iconics. Are they still the Iconics? The Icon? icon? Uh, yeah. Yeah, um, Is that, I forgot if they yeah, changed iconics, their name yeah. a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, but they're doing their segment where they're making fun of Becky Lynch and everything. And I'm yes. like, no, this is them. This is more them than anything else. Because yeah. I feel like, like one, it's what they were doing in NXT. And that's also you can tell. Like Bo- mm-hmm. Bobby Roode seems a little more wooden since he came up to WWE, right? Uh, you can tell that he's integrating to that new that that, that, that the, the higher end uh, you know system there. Um, but. Well. And I'm sorry with Bobby though, real quick. Mm-hmm. Turn him heel, please. <laughs> please, please turn him heel. Put on a suit and tell us we're worthless, please. Yeah. Please, Bobby Roode. I'll still and, sing your entrance. And you know, even have you know, he needs, to, and he may be getting better, but he needs to be a heel. And mm-hmm. it's something that I saw a few people mention um, about tonight is. So we had Braun knock over a car. We had tons of people beat up tons of other people, but Bailey's the one who needs anger management. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like, like there Dr. was so- Shelby. Do we get Doctor Shelby next week? Yes, please. There was something about because I did catch like the <sighs> brawl at the end because it looked pretty vicious. And oh, like when she was, she was like like kneeling over Sasha at ringside. Mm-hmm. I was just like, well, this is getting suggestive, you know, like violently suggestive, right? Oh, yeah. Like yeah. it was, it was interesting. And then I'm just like, are we done with the hugging? Are we done with the wacky waving f- inflatable tube men now? You know, is this now Dark Bailey? I don't even want it to be Dark Bailey per se. I just want it to be an adult Bailey. Where it's not, I'm a little eight-year-old girl that, you know, because if you remember the second match, the uh, Iron Man match Mm -hmm. in NXT, Bailey got violent. She was still huggable, lovable, everyone loves Bailey. Yeah, she's not competitive. Yeah, but the end of that match, she, I mean, when she started to stomp Sasha's head in. Yeah. That was, that was violent. And there's nothing wrong with getting violent and competitive in a wrestling match. There's nothing wrong with that. You're supposed to. Mm Mm-hmm. But it's kind of like, you know, like the disqualifications. Oh, you're too much of an ass kicker. So, no, you cannot do your thing. Yeah. So, uh, it's kind of like, ugh. Uh, Tina Tina's saying, I can, uh, can I take credit for slightly calling anger management last week just a wrong superstar? I forget who we were mentioning last week. And uh, Alex Carr is out there. Uh, can't wait for the dark remix of Bailey's music. <laughs> Yeah, and no, you know, I think it's just like the 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 music now, just more 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 a little more of the um um uh, dubstep wub wubs in there, right? Near that, or you can go full full blown distortion. Mm. You know, twist it, 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 it kind of little like twist it there, the extra little but... bit when then like they do like the um like like the Nikki Cross's remix of of the Sanity music. Okay, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which is already kind of weird, well, well, been distorted to begin mm-hmm. with, but then in a different vein. Yeah. So I'm sure C Money FO uh, will <laughs> we'll get that. We'll get that down. Um, I see a triple threat happening for the IC title. I don't know. Z, are you meaning maybe with Braun? Or I'm sorry, Roman? Because um, I think I think it's mostly going to be a tag situation from the look of it. Yeah. Oh, said Ronda needed anger management. Yeah, yeah. So you just see like this, like like just. Just you know, in the in the talking circle, there's Rhonda, there's Bailey, and then and then <laughs> there's Kane. <laughs> because because we like yeah. like I'm I'm still dealing with stuff. You know, well, it, no, it's either that or if they don't want to bring Doctor Shelby back, have Kane be the anger management <sighs> lead. Listen, I've been through this before. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> ha- have have Kane come out, but have him more be Glenn Jacobs. Mm-hmm. The politician. Yes. Where he's bringing people together. Look, look at me now. I'm the mayor of, or I guess he's exactly. not yet, but he well, won only a special election. Only. There still has to be the, the, the main uh, election, yeah. I believe. 
But uh, he's like, look at me. I'm on track to be the mayor of this. I've, I've come so far. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a person of the people. Uh, mm-hmm. People power. Exactly. Exactly. That's what we need. There you go. <laughs> There you go. All right, <laughs> McIntyre uh, disqualified. That that's that's why Roman came out to help. Yeah, yeah. Uh, where where I'm just asking where the three way com- the triple threat happens because I think it's just Roman. Because I mean, isn't no. Roman involved with the Bobby Lash? I don't know. I, I well, he, he, the thing is, he was, and they had a stare off, and mm-hmm. then then the whole well, um, Brock's contract situation means there won't be a fatal five way or whatever they're calling it at extreme rules or that's on hold. So they don't, that was the the very first segment. They said Brock's contract situation. Well, there's a, a glitch in it. So wait, really? Now, this is how they're yeah. explaining this. Yeah. So the fight fatal five ways off, but you, uh, but Lashley and Roman can have a one-on-one at extreme rules, but by the end of the show, you're thinking, okay, there's going to be maybe a tag match at Extreme Rules now. Yeah, yeah. So, I, and I saw the ad, the local ad for Extreme Rules, which I know doesn't always get updated, but they were still having the five way competition in the commercial. In the commercial. What? Okay, so maybe like that that makes me think there was something for real that got messed up somewhere along the line that they they changed the script like today and couldn't change the. The, yeah. the rest of the matches the of, and everything yeah, else. The yeah, the rest of the commercials. Like that that yeah. that informs me that there is something like maybe officially going on there then. Um because that's, I, yeah, because then uh, you figure the other guys who probably would be involved, so you're gonna have the another tag probably. You figure you have um maybe Braun and his little buddy Finn Balor mm-hmm. versus Kevin and Constable Corbin, maybe. I got a big question for you. I got a big question yeah. for you right here. Um, what does your cat uh, think of Natalia tonight? Oh, well, the, the cats are always big fans of Natalia. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm not too sure they're big fa- they're fans of uh, Two Paws, but they're they're fans of Natty at least. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, yeah, yeah you always have to be fans of Natty. <laughs> <laughs> There's an uncomfortable switch, uh, uh, a shifting back there as you're talking. Yeah, they know. They know that is like I heard that Two Paws. <laughs> You've heard of that, yes. And they're also a big fan of Alistair Black's cats. Okay. If you follow him, if you follow them on Instagram. No, I need to. Wait, wait. Yes. Him or his cats are on Instagram? His, his cats are on Instagram. Oh, jeez. Yes, this yes. Yeah, yeah. And, and he, he actually, you can actually see the cat's dialogue as they talk about set dad. So he was, he was obviously watching Raw, and the cats were saying, Hey, Seth, Dad, you're moving around. Just watch the show. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Um, wow. Uh, Dave, what what a, <laughs> what a, how much of Raw was watchable for you tonight? <sighs> I would say after the first half, ignoring that first half hour, um, and that the, the, they gave us an amazing, what, uh, 1030 till 11 o'clock segment. Yeah. Yeah, which, which they that match was incredible. Yeah, yeah, and we actually got B team. We actually had the B team live in person too. Mm-hmm. Oh, I so, didn't get to see much of that. Yeah, yeah, and that there looks like something where a, I need to watch the segment, right? Uh, I would say yes, mm-hmm. yes, especially for the ending, um, and the reactions after the match. Okay, um, just because Matt, um, our. 45 maybe hour 45 maybe two hour, okay maybe two hours like i said that first okay. hour that first little bit wasn't really that mm-hmm. memorable in fact like i said don't have that don't have lashley talk please don't also, have him talk mojo mojo and oh, no way jose mojo versus is no way jose like, i'm assuming it's going to be the um the kickoff match yeah it feels like it definitely yeah um, it, yeah, it, because, it, because uh, Mojo picked on the guy in the hamburger suit, yes, who was in the conga line. Mm-hmm. Todd, I believe, is uh, the name was. Todd. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, I, I want to go uh, hypothetical two hours. Uh, I enjoyed most of the last hour, you know, 15 ish. 
that I, I got to really dive in and yeah. watch. Um, and, and the stuff I was seeing was like catching my attention from my conversations I was having. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm going to hypothetical two hours on that one. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good about this raw. It looks, it looks good. And again, I, I've, I've shared my philosophies on the, this is not Lucha Underground. I know that. This is not NXT. I know that. Right. This is raw, and this is what I expect from raw. And I think uh, uh, things in that last hour were above and beyond. Uh, what we've been getting lately, so I think oh, that yes, factors in yes. between and, the bronze oh, and, stuff and the and that match was that last match was yeah, incredible. Yeah, that last match made Raw. Without that last match, it would have been forgettable to yes. be honest. I think. Yes. Oh, to Alex Miller, no, his cats, it, uh, Alistair Black's cats are not dark. They are fluffy Persians. Oh, the ones with the kind of pushed in face. I'm looking this. They, they are not. They are not the cats. You would not think of someone with the tats and the heavy metal. I don't. I don't want. I don't know that much music. But either heavy death, whatever you want to call his entrance music, mm -hmm. when he comes in, you don't expect those cats. That's what makes it great. Black mask <laughs> quotes. I'm looking for Alistair Black. You might know. Anybody knows Instagram out there? <sighs> uh, I can never spell Alistair right. People, maybe I don't know. Kawa, is this him? That's not him. Nope, not enough cats on that. That's some, that's some goth chick. Uh, uh, we'll find that later. Yeah. Somebody sent me his Instagram so I can go check out these cats. <laughs> uh, these cool cats. Mm -hmm. Dave Potter, thank you so much for filling in here. Uh, no problem, you know, man. you're Thanks not gonna let a movie get in the way oh, of Monday no. Night Raw. <laughs> no, why would I do? Why would I want to watch a movie when no. I can watch Bobby and and Roman talk? talk next to each other <laughs> and, and have a full three hours of coach oh man what i just monday night without coach? the coach Why? giving us how things should be i am not i am a coach sympathizer guys i mean uh, i'm not i do not have a problem with this uh, breaking news because the Instagram just told me uh, pre-order uh, wk uh, 2k ww2k19 and you can play as ray mysterio yeah that they had mm. they had the ad where uh, different people were coming out, pulling off their the mask. Oh, I did see a they thing had, with like yeah, Bobby Roode was pulling off a mask. I'm like, what is yeah, happening yeah, here? Everyone was pulling off the mask, and all of a sudden you see the last one. It's Ray. Oh. So he pulled off the mask, and it's Ray underneath. Oh, this is again. This is again one of those. Th it's going to be like last year, where the commercials for WWE 2K are so freaking cool. Yeah. And then the game's just a wrestling game. Like you get every year. You know, that's why I'm still playing. Was it 2K16? I think I have on my Xbox One. Still playing. Oh, okay. That's what we did the Patreon Rumble with. Which you can. Oh, it's like uh, it fell down. The Blockers uh, poster. Uh, patreoncom slash Um And if you contribute, you'll be part of the Patreon Rumble for a chance to win the Blockers uh, poster featuring one John Cena. Uh, as well. Uh, Dave Potter. Did did I get? Did I have you plug things yet? Uh, not yet. No. Okay, go plug things. Where can people okay. find what you do in the sure. podcast uh, realm? On, well, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter as ProfPod, and you can uh, listen to my pod, the podcast I'm on, Tiny Shutter, where we talk about iPhone photography and other things. Uh, we go live on Thursdays, Thursday nights at 9.30-ish, assuming all the technology works. Uh -huh, I know uh, that. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, find us on Apple Podcast. There you go. Alex. And of course, check out everything at SorgatronMedia.com, WrestlingMayhemShow.com. We have our interviews uh, uh, lately. Uh, we have talked with the guys here in the Pittsburgh area around Stop Out Cancer. Of course, a great event that happened this past Saturday night. Uh, we were there, uh, members of our crew were there filming, and that will be available on IndieWrestling.us in the near future. This week, this week uh, Wednesday evening, I believe 10 p.m. Eastern, we'll be live on IndieWrestling.us's Facebook page talking with the Boar of Moldova. I think I got that right. I, I keep adding a, a syllable for some reason. Uh, he will be joining us. He wants to talk about wrestling with people that aren't shitty to talk about wrestling, and apparently we qualify. So uh, I'm going to have my first um, bovine interview <laughs> here. It's, is that, do that right? Is that is a boar? No, no, it's a, that's a cow I'm thinking. Yeah. What am I? What? Porcine. 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 My first porcine interview. That sounds dirty. Uh <laughs> <laughs> I, hope, I hope he's not watching this. Uh, so that's going to be happening Thursday night. It will be very fascinating because it will be a couple hours removed from me teaching an intro to podcasting course. 
<laughs> yeah. Uh, so that my mindset's going to be all over the place Wednesday evening. Uh, but so this is a lot of fun. So thank you everybody joining us. Thank you everybody in the chat room joining us here every Monday night. It's a really fun to chat wrestling and see you guys in there and uh, see the community from all over the country. Thank you so much. Tell a friend to mayhem with us. And until next week, um, what's this show? Oh, keep it raw. <laughs> see you guys. <laughs>